out to y'all man tell y'all a little bit about you know me where i come from from the mob you know and i started with the mob you know as an artist officially back in 06 but we ain't gonna touch on too much of that um just want to move forward a little bit you know officially when i started really being a part of the mob you know um i know there's a couple artists before me that don't know me locked up um probably would be still part of the mob if they wasn't stuff like that catching time I even bring on an artist that caught time dog JJ Walker he talk, caught like 15 years 12 or 15 I gotta look at the paper man but you know you know you got some undercover ass people around here sometimes man need to hit on there but you know, make a long story short man you know me and JJ you know I think I was the only one that really had a chance to see him physically. Um, other other um, leaders of the mob, you know, they be based out of VA at the time. Um, you know, didn't really get a chance to meet him because of the court cases, you know what I'm saying? Locking nigga up, shit like that. Um, but we, um, you know, make, he made a couple of tracks with our, our first major artist, which is Sleaze. You know, Sleaze was the first artist, period, of Platinum Tom, Tom Mob. Uh, and uh, really, that's my homie. Which Tom Mob started by Unique, his uncle. And uh, I think it was, they told me the story of how he came today with the cup. He, uh, he uh, was talking to a guy, was like, yo, you got to go to Tom? He was like, nah, I got a Platinum Tom. I think the name just stuck with him, and you know, we like the name, we roll with it, you know what I'm saying? Why not? Because what's better than gold? Platinum. You ain't spitting no platinum, man. You ain't, we ain't worth no weight. That's how we feel, you know? But that's why I kind of gravitated to the company because of the name. One of the reasons. But two, you know, I'm an artist. Um, my, he's an artist, but he's not officially my artist, you know. He's the label, he's himself. But that's the thing about Tom Mob, you know, we make we let make, make sure we let it known that the artist is their own brand. You know, they're their own brand. I don't think they realize that, but any artist, whatever name you are, you your own brand. But make a long story short, you know, that's just how I really am a part of the mob. His uncle started the mob, and you know we we went in the head first, like you know fuck it, and we ain't going nowhere, loyal type type shit too. But you know I had um, what really made me official. Really, is when I had I found the artist JJ Walker, and um, they spit, and I met him the first day I met him. I met him spitting. He's walking down the street, beating on his chest. Started from a half pack, beat to a quarter brick. So you know how how the cats do it when they trying to spit to you, beating to the chest. They get that shit from prison or whatever. Knock on wood, I ain't never been to prison. But you know what I'm saying? That's where you know I'm hot back. Yo, yeah, I was like, yo, what you doing with your music? Yo, you ain't got no manager. You ain't got no, you know, you, who you work with. Hey man, I was locked up. I wanted to start this thing called One Nation. I was like, okay, let's rock with it. And um, introduced him to the mob, you know, on the conference call. They was just getting out, so we sent them, you know, the androids was just popping really thin, like heavy, you know what I'm saying? And um, something to Android so he can get on a book, promote himself, stuff like that, you know, any type of social media brand. You know, and you know, just trying to be 
you know, the label that we're supposed to be, make sure we take care of the artists that we, you know, encounter. You know, then we go through jail motions, you know, I'm sitting in courtrooms, stuff like that, you know. I think, and, and then, and then, you know, sleeves came with check, yo, real nigga. It's like, man, I can see my boy JJ on that, man. Put him on that track. So he signed me the track. We go to my boy Be Worthy Studio. Shout out to Be Worthy. You know what I'm saying? He left Tampa, went back to NY. Man, I miss my engineer, but it was, I think. Um, but anyway, he uh, he recording there. And um, finished the song. You know, we played it around. It was, it was a little... Um, I'm gonna say a social hit because anybody that we were socializing with at the time loved the track. That's why I say it's a social hit. Should have been promoted more, stuff like that. I feel like that's the track that really, really would have brought us out into the lime life. But what is the lime life? I don't think the mob is for the lime life. I feel like we're for it the underground artists more than we are for the limelight. I don't think that's more of our downfall of getting where we want to go. But, you know, we still grind, we still out here. Um, 